Hello folks and welcome to uh, Word at One. Uh, today we have Sandy who's going to be reading out Psalm 7 and uh, a Psalm of anguish, a Psalm of uh, crying out to God, a Psalm of deliverance, a Psalm um, that praises God. And uh, Ian White doesn't do a version of Psalm 7 so at, uh, once uh, Sandy has finished and prayed um, there is a version from a church in Hong Kong, the Vine Church that I found and it gives just a different uh, way of presenting Psalm 7. I hope you enjoy it. God bless. See you soon. Good afternoon everyone. Today I'd like to share you, with you Psalm 7. This psalm was the psalm of David which he sang to the Lord concerning Cush of the tribe of Benjamin. Saul had been chasing him and he was running in fear for his life. So he comes pleading to the Lord and asking for protection. I come to you for protection O Lord my God, save me from my persecutors, rescue me. If you don't, they will maul me like a lion, tearing me into pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord my God, if I have done anything wrong, or am guilty of injustice, or have betrayed a friend, or plundered my enemy without cause, then let my enemies capture me, let them trample me in the ground, and drag my honour in the dust. Arise, O Lord, in anger. Stand up against the fury of my enemies. Wake up, my Lord, and bring justice. Gather the nations before you and rule over them from high. End the evil of those who are wicked and defend the righteous, for you look deep in the minds and hearts of the righteous God. God is my shield. Save those whose hearts are true and right. God is an honest judge. He is angry with the wicked every day. If a person does not repent... God will sharpen his sword. He will bend and bend and string his bow. He will prepare his deadly weapons and shoot among flaming arrows. The wicked conceive evil. They are pregnant with trouble and give birth to lies. They dig deep pits to trap others and then fall into them themselves. The trouble they make for others backfires on them. The violence they plan falls on their own heads. I will thank the Lord because he is just, and I will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, you are the Most High God. You are righteous in every way. And Lord, we just come to you for protection. We shelter under the shadow of your wings. You are a mighty God and a faithful God. And if there's any injustice in us, as David has said, we pray that you would show us that we may repent, Lord. But we pray for your protection in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Lord my God, I take refuge in you. Save and deliver me from all who pursue me. Or they'll tear me apart like a lion. And rip me to pieces with no one to rescue me. Lord my God, if I have done this, if there is guilt on my hands, if I have repaid my ally with evil or without cause have robbed my foe, then let my enemy pursue and overtake me. Let him trample my life to the ground and make me sleep in the dust. Arise, Lord, in your anger. Rise up against the rage of my enemies. Awake, my God, decree justice. Let the assembled peoples gather around you while you sit enthroned over them on high. Let the Lord judge the peoples. Vindicate me, Lord, according to my righteousness, according to my integrity, O Most High. Bring to an end the violence of the wicked and make the righteous secure. You, the righteous God, who probes minds and heart. My shield is God Most High, who saves the upright in heart. God is a righteous judge, a God who displays his wrath every day. If he does not relent, he will sharpen his sword. He will bend and string his bow. He has prepared his deadly weapons. He makes ready his flaming arrows. Whoever is pregnant with evil conceives trouble and gives birth to disillusionment. Whoever digs a hole and scoops it out falls into the pit they have made. The trouble they cause recoils on them. Their violence comes down on their own heads. I will give thanks to the Lord because of his righteousness. I will sing the praises of the name of the Lord Most High.